This weapon is the military's standard rifle in combat, but the Pentagon called the AR-15 by the name M-16, perhaps more familiar. It was produced by Colt. And one of the people behind that original AR-15, Jim Sullivan, says flatly, this version that civilians buy is just as lethal as the military model. The lethality of the AR-15. Right. Is that reduced in the civilian semi-automatic mode? No. It's not? It's the same. It's the same. In fact, the gun is functioning exactly the way the military model is uh, in semi-automatic. You want to believe someone? Believe the person behind the weapon. Now, while it was legal for civilians to buy the AR-15, at first few did. A shift began in 1989 when the country was shocked by the first mass shooting involving an assault weapon that was an AK-47 at an elementary school playground in Stockton, California. A lone gunman schoolyard shooting spree. Five young children were killed. The assault rifle used in the killing was purchased at this store in Sandy, Oregon. It was like a semi-automatic weapon going off. They are weapons of war. Why do we allow our citizens to have such easy access to weapons of war? Three days of prayers and funerals for five children killed Tuesday by a gunman who invaded their schoolyard. Three of the children were buried today. Then President Clinton got an assault weapons ban through Congress with the support of people including Ronald Reagan. Then gun groups and gun enthusiasts reacted with seemingly greater interest in these weapons. The NRA went after politicians who supported that ban. Congress did not end up having the votes to renew it in 04, and the NRA was boasting that hundreds of thousands of these guns had been sold. The total supply jumping from just 74,000 in 1990 to a whopping 2 million plus back in 2016. Now, while evidence shows great many of those weapons are not used in documented crimes, instead they're held as a hobby by many thousands of Americans, the cost in lives is still higher than other weapons. Hundreds of innocent people killed or maimed by AR-15s in some of our nation's worst shooting sprees, from Aurora to Vegas to now Boulder. Now these weapons can be legally limited or banned without a Second Amendment issue, just like grenades can. Now in our political culture, we are seeing more people touting them as everything from props to toys. Santa Claus selling AR-15s, and the Easter Bunny. There's one for a Hello Kitty. There's one featuring My Little Pony. A lawmaker recently made sure to show off some assault weapons in her Zoom call, a kind of pandemic-era nod to gun culture, while Republican Rand Paul has an ad where he blithely uses an AR-15 to shoot up the tax code. You see him there. And never to be outdone, Ted Cruz jumping on the bandwagon with an ad literally cooking bacon on his gun. Machine gun bacon. Rick Perry got into the cosplay with his gun and acting tough and a little bit of fan fiction, which ran at the NRA convention. These are leaders and lawmakers with real power over public safety, acting like kids who think it's cool to play with guns. It evokes Sean Carter's famous admonition to those fake tough guys out there. Shoot at you actors like movie directors. This ain't a movie, dog. And this is not a movie. This is real life. With real guns. And real shootings. And real murders. With majorities of people supporting background checks and safety measures and limits on gun sales. That's the response from people who aren't playing around tough for the NRA convention, but people living with their families in this dangerous reality, not play acting about weapons of war. Indeed, this very kind of blithe gun promotion was actually on display by one American who had a question for presidential candidates. This was back in 2008. And one of those candidates with experience on this very issue of gun control was quite blunt about the proper limits for these dangerous weapons. As myself and other Americans really want to know 
if our babies are safe. This is my baby. Senator Biden, are, are you going to be able to keep his baby safe? I'll tell you what, if that's his baby, he needs help. Uh, I think he just made an admission against self-interest. I don't know that he's mentally qualified to own that gun. No, I'm not be I'm being serious. I'm the guy that originally wrote the assault weapons ban. We should be working with law enforcement right now to make sure that we protect people against people who don't are not capable of knowing what to Time. do with a gun because they're either mentally imbalanced and or because they have a criminal record. Facts. People who do crime or are mentally imbalanced obviously shouldn't have access to weapons, especially not these dangerous ones. That was over a decade ago. The glorification and use of these weapons has obviously continued since then, while the public support for some gun control measures continues to outpace the minoritarian NRA stranglehold trying to stop Congress from doing what the majority wants, which is to keep people reasonably safe. And that senator who spoke out so bluntly is now president, saying tonight, we need gun control now, don't wait another minute. So as the facts and yes, the bodies pile up, will Congress ever do something to stop weapons of war from being used against our own citizens? Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.